guys, welcome back. So today we're out at the range to do some shooting with an old CZ handgun. If you follow the channel, you know I'm a fan of CZ firearms in general. In my hand, I have a modern CZ-75B that's made out of stainless steel. This is a gun that Jason picked up from a local dealer, knowing full well that when I saw it, I couldn't live without it. He bought it, brought it into the shop, snuck it in, and then put it in front of my face. And of course, I had to trade him something for it. And I think it was an AK. Can't remember. But anyway, so now it's in my possession. Cool handgun. Love the CZ. I carry a, uh, an SP-01 compact or a PO1 compact myself. I love the handguns, great handguns to shoot, but there's a lot of history there with CZ firearms in general. And the gun I wanna show you guys this afternoon is a handgun that I was reminded about when I saw Ian over at Forgotten Weapons do a quick video talking about how quickly somebody could disassemble a gun in Hollywood in a movie. And he was talking about the Beretta and he brought out this old CZ Model 39 and showed how quickly it would come apart. And I thought, now that's a video we haven't done yet. So that's what we're gonna do this afternoon. But first we're gonna start off by shooting 15 rounds of some Freedom Munitions 124 grain ball ammo at my challenge target down there. And then we'll transition over to this little 380 handgun from the past. It's a really cool little gun, but it's ugly as sin. Let's get started. Man, like butter. Great handguns, the best ergonomics out there. All right, let's take a look at this other CZ product where the ergonomics aren't quite so polished. Here it is, guys. This is a CZ Model 39. This is an ugly little spud. This handgun was developed in the 30s, went into production just before the Germans occupied Czechoslovakia during World War II. Uh, it, main, it stayed in production until just after the war and then the design was abandoned. It's not a very popular handgun apparently, or at least it wasn't back then. And looking at it, I can see why. Now it is innovative in some regards, but in aesthetics and ergonomics, it is, well, let's just say it leaves a lot to be desired, right? This gun is really, really ugly. Now, one of the things that's interesting about the gun, let's go ahead and show you that it's, it's empty. I'm just checking the chamber there. So the gun is empty. It has some really interesting little features. First of all, on this side of the handgun, you'll see this lever mechanism. You can use this lever, is basically pull on the lever with your thumb, and then the whole top of the gun hinges open and the slide comes right off the barrel. So you can literally disassemble this gun very quickly. And this is what Ian was talking about in his video, which made me bring this gun out to do my own video. It pivots right there. There's a hole right here that engages with this little nub on the recoil spring, which is sitting down here in the lower half of the receiver. So it'll engage with this lug and then your recoil spring works. The slide engages with that lug when you close it. So you close it up, push the little lever forward and the gun's back together. Now you can, of course, do this, open the gun up, put a round in the chamber if you want to, then close it, and then insert your nine round magazine, thereby making this almost an assault weapon by Diane Feinstein's definition. The gun is a double action only handgun as well. So you'll notice it has this goofy kind of looking trigger with an awkward shaped trigger guard. It's kind of reminiscent of the Type 14 Nambu pistols, the later generations, and it's double action only. So there is no single action, it's just straight double action. And it has a surprisingly good trigger, despite the fact that it's a double action only pistol. It has standard rudimentary military type sights, very shallow V-notch and, and a blade in the front. But if you look at the gun from the rear, it's kind of blocky. It's just a, a thin block and it's a very wide grip. This is some sort of a bake-like material with the old school CZ logo in it. And then you can see the Model 39 there on the side. So it does fire and it's, it's just not ergonomic at all. It feels very, very awkward in the hand. It's so weird to pick up a CZ that doesn't feel good in the hand. Here's its nine round magazine. This is what it fires from and it's a 380. So it has a heel release and a lanyard loop. Here's your heel release on the mag. And now you can grab it by its little teeny tiny slide serrations, but they're actually kind of deep. You can grab by those little slide serrations and chamber around. Of course, the hammer follows the slide home and now the gun's ready to fire. Keep in mind, guys, when you're shooting these old, old surplus guns, the springs can be old and weakened and you may have the occasional malfunction. I have a hard time finding 380 ball ammo that doesn't have a flat nose on it. 
Uh, this is Winchester White Box 380 ammunition, which was donated to us by our friends over at Freedom Munition. But even Freedom's own loads have that flat nose on the uh, bullet, and it's just kind of hard on some guns. I did a Beretta video a little while back on a 380 Beretta, and uh, yeah, these flat nose bullets were giving it fits. But let's see how this little Model 39 handles them. Nope, and it locks open the last shot. I'm sitting there pulling on the trigger. Now, like a lot of the guns of the era, when you go to pull the magazine out, it lets that slide drop. It's just like the CZ-27 that we recently featured in video. So it will lock open on that last shot fired, and I forgot that the gun hits high. So when I was aiming center of mass, I sent one over the challenge target. I actually have to aim low uh, to hit center of mass with this little gun. I haven't shot it in a long time. All right, let's load up some more ammunition. I have one magazine to do some more shooting with the Model 39 CZ handgun. I will say that this gun is not just ugly, it is extremely uncomfortable and unergonomic. But we're gonna give it a shot here, about seven yards on the challenge. Target steel plate rack. 380 should have more than enough energy to knock these plates over. They're set up for nine millimeter. Now let's just see if I can work this double action trigger. I'm not real good with double action revolvers or double action only firearms. Even though the trigger on this thing is pretty, pretty straightforward. There's, it's not stagey at all. It's a nice smooth pull and release but it's still a double action only handgun and I just can't shoot them quickly and accurately. Usually. That was luck. And it's popped this guy in the head a couple of times. And she locked open. Yeah, it uh, is not comfortable. <laughs> I love this thing just because of the novelty of it. It's such an ugly little spud but you just gotta love this thing. It, it's actually kind of pretty in its own way. Yeah, you can definitely tell I'm a parent. This is my baby, it's a CZ, I love it. <laughs> the Military Arms channel is viewer supported. That means through Patreon, our viewers support the channel. YouTube demonetized gun channels, conservative speech channels, video game channels, knife channels, just about everybody. And it's forced us to look elsewhere to support our channels, to support our growth, and we chose to do that through Patreon. There's a link down below. Please click that link and learn more about becoming a Patreon supporter and what that means and what we give back to you guys as a thank you for directly supporting us here at the Military Arms Channel. Another great way to support us is to swing by our Forged from Freedom store, which is forgedfromfreedom.com forward slash military arms. You can pick up shirts like this one. You want to vote for a Democrat, a Republican, or the AR-15? AR-15. But guys, seriously, you can pick those shirts up over at forgefromfreedom.com forward slash military arms, or just follow the link in the description down below. Thanks for supporting us, guys. Back in the day when guns like this were in use, it was kind of customary to fire a handgun with one hand. It's kind of a modern thing for us to use two hands when we hold a weapon. You'll find old army manuals with the 1911 with the guys shooting them one-handed. You know, today's style of holding with a two-handed hold is pretty much a modern thing. Obviously, it gives us better control over the firearm, allows for faster follow-up shots, but I wanna see how well I can shoot this double action only pistol from about seven yards on a kill zone steel challenge target and see if I can actually hit anything just kind of point shooting using the front sight. It's kind of like a caveman EOTech. I'm just gonna bring that front blade up on the target and pull the double action trigger and see how well I do. I dropped one of them. I do shoot with both eyes open. And I just kind of snap shooting. Yeah, what's kind of funny, we've, we've fired a couple hundred rounds this thing this afternoon, had no malfunctions, but it's actually starting to kind of grind on my finger a little bit. It's, it's completely unergonomic. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that right now. <laughs> the gun is not fun to shoot outside of, yeah. Okay, I'll take that back. It's fun to shoot. It's not the most comfortable gun to shoot. It's actually quite, painful a little bit not a whole bunch but it's uncomfortable we'll put it that way yeah okay i sound like a sissy <laughs> this gun is in its original condition it has a high luster blue finish and it's in really really good shape given its age uh, i don't know it has no import marks on it so obviously the gun came into the country 
in somebody's duffel bag or something, probably maybe from World War II or something, a GI returning home. Let's try something here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tilt the barrel mechanism up here. I'm going to take a round of 380, drop it into the chamber there. See if it'll pop over the claw. It sure will. And then we'll go ahead and close the gun up. All right, now we have one round chambered. And now we have our nine round magazine. Now we have 10 rounds. One round away from being an assault weapon. <laughs> All right, here we go. And she locks open. Yeah, that's a really, really cool little gun. Awkward to shoot. I want Jason to shoot this thing. Uh, so far, we're having pretty good reliability. That's that ninth round sounded a little pud to me. It had an off tone to it. I didn't know if the gun had actually cycled or not. Sometimes Win Winchester white box can be a little iffy. But um, yeah, the gun feeds just fine. Now you'll notice that the gun pretty much ejects straight up. When I'm shooting, I can see spent cases going over the front. The muzzle of the gun, some of them come back. It's ejecting pretty much straight up. It's not throwing the spent case out the side. You'll notice it has no facilities for a manual safety. It relies completely on that double action trigger to be at safety. Cool design, but man, that's a look only a mother could love. <laughs> Now I'm going to try to give this ugly mug a shot here. It's ugly, but it is fun to shoot. Huh. I like it. I'll give you 200 bucks for it. I hope you guys enjoyed coming out to the range with us this afternoon, do a little bit of shooting with the Model 39. What an interesting piece of history. And I'm glad Ian did his video and that prompted me to do my video. And hopefully you guys have a little bit more information about this interesting little handgun from history. Uh, it wasn't made for very long and obviously wasn't very popular. It is, as I have mentioned already in the video, ugly as sin. However, it's still a very cool CZ handgun and I have no intentions of ever getting rid of it. I hope you guys enjoy these old firearm videos. It's fun for us to come out because this is honestly, guys, where my true passion lies. I like the old guns. Sure, I enjoy firing the new stuff, but man, when I bring one of these old guns out, it's just, it's exciting. Both Jason and I absolutely love it. And we have some more old gun videos we're gonna do for you guys this summer. Hope you enjoy them, look forward to them. So now I'm down to my last nine rounds. If you guys would like to support us another way, a great thing to do is just to swing by and check us out at coppercustom.com. It's our online store. Swing by, we got a lot of great products at great prices. And also, be sure to check us out at full30.com. It's where freedom rings. YouTube is cracking down on gun channels. They've demonetized us. Now it looks like they got new policies. It may take some of us off the platform entirely. Full 30 is a place where a lot of folks are going. So swing by, check out full30.com. All right, guys. Last nine rounds, and then we gotta pack it up and head home. This is always the saddest part of the video, unless it's like bitterly cold outside. After about 300 rounds, I've actually gotten pretty good at shooting this thing today. <laughs> this is the most I've ever shot the gun. All right guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.